Hi folks, today let me see about SCD command in Linux. SCD normally stands for Simulator and this command is a uh, well known command for modifying the files through terminal. If someone need to modify the file through terminal then this is the best choice. Now let's go deeper through SCD command mm, and I am taking the syntax SCD task and the file name. This is the basic syntax of scd command and now I am displaying the example.txt file. We will take this file as example throughout this command. Now I am going to first instance scd yes. Uh, yes flag I am using here is to mention substitution operation and unix and linux. Unix is the first word Linux is the second word. This is the basic use of cd command. We'll just replace the word Unix with Linux. And now replacing the specific occurrence in a line. It's just to replace the second occurrence of Unix with Linux in a line. And the command is cd s Unix since I mentioned second occurrence, I am using two. Now the file name. Then the second occurrence in the line is changed to Unix from Linux. And the next one is replacing all the occurrence in a line. And the command is cd quotes substitution flag first word second word and the flag newer one is G. G is called global replacement flag and the file name. It will change to the entire line. And this is the original file and now we can check it out. Okay, Then we can see about replacing from the specific occurrence to all. And the command is cd sorry quotes substitution flag first word second word and I'm mentioning 3g g for global replacement and 3 for specific occur that is third occurrence and the next one we will see about under flag this unflag is normally used to uh, specific a word that is need to be changed. CD, yes, Unix, and I am giving this unflag in quotes. While using this, we will get an error that the command is not completed. This command how to complete with slash. And now running the specified Unix word is replaced with quotes means curly braces and the next one is duplicating the replaced line if the changes is made then the line will be displayed twice in the terminal and the command is cd s unix linux and the flag using here is P to print twice. Here you can see the difference. The replaced line is printed, printed twice. And the next one is printing only replaced line. That is if the pattern is altered and this specific line will be displayed alone. SCD, uh, yes, Unix, Linux, the same flag P and at last file name. The additional option here using is hyphen n. It will display only the contents if the alter line is altered. And the next one is uh, we go for nested set. Nested set is nothing but running multiple set conditions in a single command as we seen in the C, C++ languages. Yes, Unix, Linux. This is the first set command and the file name 
and I'm using the second set command and I'm separating with pipe symbol cd yes and here the first word is os and the second word is system and here the first set commands output is taken as the input for second set command and the another method here we can use is simply using one option and that option is scd hyphen e and the same content unix word and then linux and once again the same flag hyphen e and the second command yes os system and the file name both outputs are same now the next one is replacing a word in specified line number for that the command is set I mentioned here 3 is the line number here it will modify the uh, Linux word to Unix word only in the third line and now the next one is replacing the words in the range of lines uh, we can give the range of lines as 1 comma 3 and the same content as, as Unix Linux here I mentioned 1 comma 3 is uh, the modification needs to be done from first line to third line and the another method here also can be used is uh, the same command I'm just using dollar symbol to comma dollar dollar symbol which means that the last line so the uh, modification will be changed from second to last and the next one is to replace the pattern matches set I am giving the pattern as Linux and the command as yes Unix and here sent OS and the file name now it check for Linux word. If the Linux word is found, then it will change Unix to sent OS. Mm, this is the pattern matching found, and the next one is deleting the lines. Quotes mm, giving to D. Here uh, the D flag is to mention delete option, and I'm given second one to delete the second line in that file. And here also I am using uh, the dollar symbol to mention the last line. So I am using 2 comma dollar. It will delete from second line to last. Yes. Now the next one is adding a new line after a match is found. CD and the pattern as Unix. And the flag here I am using is A to add a new line and the content is new line itself and the file name here it will check the word unix and if the unix word is found then the content in that quotes that means new line is printed after that and the next one is the same instead of uh, printing the content to next it will print to before the pattern so i am changing the flag as i and next one is replacing entire line Unix and here the flag is C C to notify change of line and the content is also the change of line and I am giving the file name it will check for Unix word if the Unix word is found then the whole content of the line is changed to the content inside the quotes And the next one is case sensitive. In set command, the case sensitive is used. It means 
to convert lowercase to uppercase. Here I have mentioned the Y flag. Y flag to stand, uh, transform the case of letters and the small UL and capital UL. It means it will replace the small UL to capital UL. You can see the difference as small u is changed to capital U. Thanks for watching.